everybody. Welcome to the Kill Team Battle Report. I'm here with Brayden. Hey everyone, and he, Zuriani. He did, he brought us a Zuriani in. Uh, so we can try playing against some elves, and I'm gonna use my gene stealer called. And I'm gonna call them elves because they're space elves. And that's what they used to be called in the 80s. Back when space elves were space elves, and space dwarves were space dwarves, and space land were space land. And the Imperial Guard were just as miserable as they are today. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna throw down another open play mission. This is Aerial Assault, where one side is being bombarded by the other, and they're trying to blow up secretly objectives uh, and defend objectives that are on the table. So one side will start deploying the board, the other one will actually arrive during the course of the game. So if it's the Eldar, you can imagine you're just like phasing in through the, the web portals. And the GCR cults are just like ninja turtling out of some manhole covers and showing up from beneath. Um, but however you envision it, this mission is basically an assault on unsuspecting forces, and they have to scramble uh, the defenders try and defend their objectives while the attackers try and blow them up. So we'll show you the table, we'll show you the forces, and we'll get this underway. So here's Braden's Azuriani kill team. You have four specialists. Uh, first of all, you've got your combat specialist there, the Dire Avenger Exarch. Uh, you have your leader, which is actually one of the rangers, a sniper in the background, uh, who's the other ranger, and then a comm specialist, which is a guardian to give plus one to hit to folks. Roger, roger. And then two different, um, two different guardians and four Dire Avengers to make up the bulk of the kill team. So you've got, looks like, eight... Nine, ten models, not bad for an elite Eldar force here on Fortis Binary. And here's the local emissaries from the Fortis Binary Mining Union. Uh, we have my leader there with his power pick and web pistol. Um, a medic who has the uh, the cult icon. Uh, and then my scout with a flamer and my heavy with a seismic can. Those are my four specialists from the cult. And then job squad, we've got four just regular gene stealers uh, who will be doing the stabbing. And then four regular cult neophytes with shotguns and autoguns who will be doing the shooting. And that's my 12 models for my kill team of gene stealer cults. Here's the table set up for aerial assault. Uh, we've already rolled off to place three objectives. One, two, three over here. They can't be placed within six of each other and they get placed anywhere on the table. And then we roll off for attacker and defender. There is no recon stage in this mission because it's a surprise attack. Neither side is actually prepared for the, the ground for this. So 2d6, I got a seven and you get a five. So I get to choose attacking and defending. I think as I am the cult, I will attack. Uh, and then you get to set up your kill team anywhere on the table. Now I arrive uh, during the movement phase by rolling a d6. On a one to four, we number the quadrants of the table and I arrive somewhere in that quadrant, not within four inches of the enemy. On a five, six, I can choose the quadrant they arrive in. So the Azuriani have all set for defense. We've got Dire Avenger, Dire Avenger, Dire Avenger. They're, not, they're wisely not clumping up just in case I, I show up everywhere. Uh, Dire Avenger, Dire Avenger, and then the Exarch and the Leader on top here holding this objective. And then you have your Comm Specialist, your Sniper, to give him some extra shoots down there, and then some Guardians hanging out on the lower levels of the building. Now, before the first turn, I roll to see where I arrive. So, one, two, three, four will be the zones. We're going to start with the Gene Stealers. So, one, two, three, and I pick. So, let's do one. I can't be within four inches of you. So it's a bit, it's a bit dicey, and I don't even know if I'm going first. Hmm, these are five inches tall and you're more than an inch tall, so I can't go above him. Yeah, this is, this is bad. <laughs> Let's go, I guess, over here. I think that's the best I can do. Gene Stealer 2. It's gonna go in this quadrant over here. Oh, are you over the line? You're not far enough, are you? Let's just check. I wanna go right there. I think I'm too close, though. Ah, he's too close. No, no surprise assaults. Let's go over here. You're gonna try and zone me out. I see how you do. Uh, and then the third one, which has to be in quadrant three. Hello, hello, Mr. Dire Avenger. Just gonna hang it over here. Last one I can pick. Oh, I'm not sure where I wanna pick though. I think I wanna pick somewhere down here. Where can I go that I can't see you? It's gonna have to be down behind this pillar, I think, right there. Just being sneaky. Gun cultists. Uh, two, and I can pick. So the first gun cultist is gonna hang out over here, just being a gun cultist. And then I can pick. Where do you wanna go, bro? What do you wanna do? I think you're gonna get in a firefight with some, some Dire Avengers. <laughs> it's gonna be bad, but we're gonna try and do it anyway. Gun bros, they're gonna go one in quadrant four, and then one I can pick. So quadrant four is over here anyway. Let's just get, let's just get filthy. Let's do it. Let's go to town. We're in the open from this guy, but that's okay. We're in cover from everybody else. Yeah, we're happy. And then I can pick. I choo choo choose over here. Specialist, my leader. Four. So he's gonna have to be over here. Mm -hmm. Go with your friend. Medic. Anywhere I want. 
Uh, he lets me reroll ones in the fight phase. You're hanging out with the Gene Steelers guy, buddy. Uh, and then my flamer. Anywhere I want. Oh, what's where's the where's a good spot? Over here's kind of a good spot. Over here's kind of an even better spot. <laughs> He's gonna go over there. Uh, and then my seismic cannon. Anywhere I want. And I want over here. Getting a gunfight. You're doing great, bud. You know, five turns, we are deployed. Uh, and we'll dice off right now for some initiative for turn one. So start of turn one. We both have a resourceful leader on the table, so we both gain two CPs. And it's 1d6 to see who goes first. Ah, ah, you beat me with a mighty two. So you get, to, ah, you get to move first in the movement phase. Ready? All right, so you're gonna ready this Dire Avenger. Give him a ready marker. Anybody else got ready? Sniper up top, yep. your guy with the sniper rifle. And anyone else? His guardian. Fall back. So fall back with that. Uh, yep, fell back with this guy. Thing. So you get to move three, and then it's two up, two down, four. So you'd be on the other side over here. Right, yep. you, to be, you measure, measure all your ups and downs for the walls. Because, yeah. But oh, that places him right there at that guy, though. It's true. But you have to go around the wall or eat the six inch penalty as well. Walk your, this cultist. walk your you fell over there and throw a grenade. Yep. Get ready to throw. All right. He just advanced. Who's next? Ready the sniper leader up here. The right, guardian so. over here. Yeah, what about your comm specialist? What's he want to do? We're ready as well. Calm special. Back a little bit. Yeah, yeah. going to move back a bit, and then within three inches, yeah, still peeking out this window, and then Perfect. within three inches, he'll um, uh, be able to still help his buddy with his calm buddy with his hit rolls. Yeah. And then last but not least, you have this dire avenger, and I think everybody's gone. Yeah, you know, I think he'll actually just move straight across. Just six inches should take him. Uh, 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 uh. There's another gene stealer. There's another gene stealer, <laughs> but then there's also this guy too. Yeah, with a shotgun. Moves. So just gonna hide in the corner. Yeah, yeah you want to ready him? Ready. Yeah, okay. we're gonna ready him too. Yeah, that's good. Three any shooting or sorry, uh, movement done. So it's over to me. I'm gonna ready, ready my seismic cannon. We will ready. Oh, did I? Oh, I moved this guy, didn't I? This fella, Mr. Auto Gun over here. I'm gonna attempt to charge with my gene stealer. So I'm gonna try and charge your sniper uh, up top here. I'm probably gonna need a nine for a nine. We got it. it. Oh, and Overwatch the middle on fire. I'm not gonna be able to get into melee with the guardian. But I'll make it within an inch. Whoop! Have we measured of him? Let's try and charge over here. You can try and overwatch me. I'm in cover, right. so you're minus one hits, uh, and you're in short range though, within nine. So you're hitting on fours. All right. Actually, sixes rather. What am I talking about? It's Overwatch. Always sixes. Nah, twos don't do it. And then do I make it in? And get him. Eight will do it. Yeah. So we'll just go around. You can actually hop these obstacles for. Uh, free because they're an inch and a half, and we'll pile them in. He's gonna go. He's gonna try and charge both these guys. They can both overwatch me. So there you go. All four right. shots on sixes. One, and then a four to wound. Lightning reflexes on a five. No, what happened? So I'm in cover, which means uh, you're minus one to your injury roll. So on a four, five, six, I'm out, but that's minus one, so it's a three, so I'm flesh wounded. Which means now I'm minus one to hit. Ow! Gene Stealer. All right, so let's see what my charge range is. I got a 10, which means I'm charging all day. So we're gonna go around three and then in seven. He's gonna run. He's gonna run. Just, I just need to run. Just gonna walk over this cover. Hello. Basically irrelevant if he runs or not because he has an assault weapon. Uh, we're gonna ready the shotgun. Ready the last shotgun over here, I think. And we're done. Wait, I got one more gene stealer. Uh, do I charge? Yeah, we're gonna try and charge. Uh, you can't see me, so Overwatch. I, that will do it. Yeah, <laughs> Five, just and then all. six over. Let's get him! Shooting phase, uh, you have the readies. So you get to choose who readies first. Actually, sorry, I forgot one more guy. He's gonna move. Uh, you know what, he'll just ready. He'll just stay there and ready to shoot your ranger. Dig out my flamer, because if you don't, then two guys might get nuked. So you get uh, two uh, guardian, was it shuriken catapult shots yep. into these guys. Now you can split them if you want between both the shotgun guy and the flamer guy. Or you can just concentrate on the flamer guy and try and kill him. Yeah, and he's ready, so... So four is because of cover. One hit, and then it's a three to wound, only times three. Strength three, yep. No, no what again, do you want to... I'm going to... CP reroll that, tactical yeah, reroll? Reroll that, tactical reroll, yeah. Does it, all right. So now, uh, I am injured, but I'm in cover, so on a five, six, I'm out of action. On a one, two, three, four, I'm flush wounded. Nope, I'm just flush wounded, but you can't CP it again because you've already used your tactical reroll for the phase. Shooter ready model now. I'm gonna use my, my web pistol and I'm gonna auto hit you D three times with spider webs. Ah, three times. Now, the web pistol can choose to wound you on your strength or toughness, but e you are equally ginchy in this regard, so it'll be uh, on fours to try and wound your guardian. Well played, sir. Do I 
Do I do something about this? No, I'm just gonna hope you should, don't hit me back. So, uh, ready models have fired, we just flip them over. He's done. Yep, all right, yeah, this guy's done too. Apparently my Spider-Man gun didn't work very well, so, so who wants to shoot next? Oh, well, uh, there's not these, much I can shoot. Yeah, really. these guys lose their markers anyway, because they got charged. Yeah, they got charged, this guy advanced. Oof. Shotgunner, so two shots. Out in the open though, so threes. Yep. All right. And threes to wound. Oh, Ro snake Ro eyes. And you probably use your top to go reroll. So he's now fired. Uh, you still have, oh, he moved, didn't he, during the movement phase. Yeah. So he's not going to shoot in the he's ready phase. Ready marker's also dead. Well, I will fire my next ready model, which is my shotgunner, back into the window. So I hit on fours, fives, because you are uh, in cover. I mean, short range, however. Fives. Uh-oh. Uh, strength four, because it's short range. One wound, one armor save, no AP. All right, on a five up. No. No, and what happens? Uh, minus one on my injury roll. So you're just flush wounded. Sniper can now fire. But that's the leader, actually. Though, yeah, so. he's your leader. Well, he still has a sniper rifle. Um, he can see both these models over here who are ready. So you'd be minus two to hit over there if you wanted to shoot him because of oh. range and cover, because you're over 18. Let's see. Well, and then, see. well, actually doesn't have long range penalties. So you hit him on a four if you want to try and shoot him. Or you could, okay, we're gonna do it. Oh, you cranked me. All right, so strength four, threes to wound. Sixes are mortal. No. no and you've used your tactical reroll. Yep. My shotgun time. I'm gonna try and shotgun you. So short range cover. I'm hitting on fives against the uh, Exarch. One hit. Strength four and a three. Make that four pinball. He don't care. You have. I think that was your last ready model. So it's back to my ready models. Let's do some shooting. Uh, I'm gonna futilely spray bullets into the almost invisible elf up here. So I'm in short range, but you have Camellia line, camel cloak, uh, and uh, cover. So I'm hitting on sixes. You suck to the Flanders. Uh, and then who else is ready? We got my seismic cannon and this auto gun. The gun's gonna spray into the window over here, so hitting on uh, short range but cover, so fives. One hit, strength three, so four. Nope. All right, let's try and plug this ranger on sixes. Four shots, only hitting on sixes. Gonna try and plug the leader up there. Do I got any? I got one! One more shot. I got one. It's only strength three though, uh, but if I get a wound roll of six plus, it's AP minus four. But a wound! Uh, and then you uh, get to make your armor save. It's minus nothing. I think you're on a six. No, you're on a five. You're a seven as a guardian. Oh, you don't even care. Well done. It's my icon bearer. He's going to double tap you in the open, Mr. Guardian. Actually, no, sorry. There's a pillar in the way. So it'll be on fives. Fives to hit. One hit and a four to wound. Four. I wound. Make that five save. Oh, he does. This is the, your guardian pajamas are strong today. Models are gone, so now you get to pick the first active model to fire. Okay. And I assume it's going to be Johnny Grenade over here. Yep, Johnny Grenade. Yep, the eggs are So plasma grenades. Plasma grenades. How many shots is that? D3, D6. 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 Four. That's oh, good. And this is on the Dire Avenger Exarch. So it hits on threes with cover, so fours. All right, I'm just gonna check thing real quick. Misses. You're gonna reroll all misses by using Azurian's Blessing, your, your CP here. So you're hitting on fours, but you reroll everything. Now, do you want to divide them up? Uh, no, I'll just go straight into that flame. All of the flamer, try and finish them off, makes sense. But yeah, so wait, so. Fours or rerolls? Do mods come after rerolls here? Uh, yes. So you reroll, you reroll ones and twos. All right. And ah, there we go. Let's Still just see. Hang on. Relevant whether or not those both, yeah, because you, yeah. you got four plus on both. Those and now three to wound. Three to wound. Two wounds. Uh, two. AB minus. Uh, is it actually? Maybe minus one. AB minus one. No, so sixes. Nope. And then you get plus one to this roll because I'm already flushing. No, you only roll one die. Ah, uh, only one roll. Yeah, because it's only damage one. You roll for okay. the damage characters of the weapon. So one die, and it'll be on a four plus. All right. Blah, from the flamer. Uh, now I get to choose a ready model or a not ready model to fire. Who do I have even? Nobody. No, so you've got this guy who ran, but he's in melee. I think that's it. That's all. Oh, no, you got your guardian over here. If he's within 12 of somebody, you can see. So now we're into the close combat phase. Let's do some charging. Uh, I like this guy, and he's going to try and kill this uh, this Dire Avenger. So he's got three attacks. Uh, he hits on, I believe, threes. Threes. Two hits. Uh, he strength four, so he wounds on threes, and a six becomes two damage. No, a six becomes... Uh, AP minus four, running close. Nothing but two wounds, two saves, four plus. Makes them both, just laughs. <laughs> see that. That's one all the time, that's right. It's minus four if they get the six to wound. So uh, the four then fails, and my injury roll. Six, just snips your head off. Snip, snip, snip. Consolidate move, I'll consolidate three inches, uh, just directly towards this thing, but I won't quite make it within an inch. So I don't try and blow it up with this guy. He has to go to the, towards the closest guy, so he'd actually go towards this this fellow right here. Uh, and then my next team's to be charged. He's gonna put them all into I don't know. Let's say Mo into this guy. Falls in. 
Boop. And then puts three into the first of the two Dire Ventures. On fours, because he's flush wounded. And then on threes, he wounds. Uh, one wound, last one. So five up. He's good. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. And then over here, I charged. On to that Dire Avenger. On the threes. And then on threes, we wound. You got uh, the so minus four. That's yeah, all you need. That's all that matters. Wound. You got it. And then let's see what happens. On a four, he dies. Yeah. Last nice charger. Up here, fighting your ranger. Uh, he gets three attacks. Hits with all of them. Wounds on threes. Wounds with two of them. Two five ups. All right. Sorry, two, six, six ups, ups, actually. He's a ranger. His pajamas are yep. light. And then one injury roll. He's dead. And so we will pile into oh, your guardian. Floppy guy. That's right. Uh, so I killed a specialist, which means I score a VP. You killed my, you killed my flamer specialist as well as my scout, yeah. so we're both at one victory point right now. You need to pick someone to fight with. Sorry, he's gonna make a follow-up. Just over there. Try and punch me. They can both do the same one at the same time. That's right. So uh, just roll all at the same time because we're not trying right. to experience for this. Three plus to hit and then five plus to wound. Two hits, five to wound. One, lightning reflexes. No. And then you get plus one of this injury roll, so three plus. No, no he's flush wounded again. again. And you're out of CPs. The guy I piled into gets to try and stab me. Two plus to hit. No. no. This is the melee's end phase. We have to test for broken. Uh, you have three models down, I have one. Uh, so for me, I have a flush wounded gene stealer. He's leadership amazing. But he rolls a six, which means a seven total. He's okay, he's not shaken. Uh, you have nobody flush wounded, I don't think, on the table. No. Yeah, but I have three guys dead though. Doesn't matter. You're, it's, it's, ah. you're only testing for shaken right now because you have to have half your group dead for you to make a right check. I have no one within an inch of. Oh, sorry, I do have someone within an inch of an objective, yeah. so I can blow that up on a five plus. Get him, Gene Stealer. He yeah. does. So I score two more and go to three. Uh, new turn. Let's see who's going first into turn two. So we both generate our CPs. I go to four. You go to two. And let's see who's going first. I got a four. You got no. three. No. Ah. Hmm, do I want to do this? All right, well, let's do some movement. First things first, I'm going to advance with that icon bear down there. Whoop, he's going to try and get in the building. He's going to go five, uh, so he can now go ten, which means how far is it out this doorway? It's about eight to there. Two more, he'll go behind this wall. Right, like so. Some readying. Oh, seismic cannon. You don't want to ready. You want to, you want to get in the game, buddy. So you're going to go over here and walk. Just advance. We're gonna have uh, Mr. Shotgun's gonna advance. He's gonna go six. He hops this for free, which means he's moving 11 inches this turn, uh, plus three. Yeah, we're just gonna move over to this wall and just stay next to the objective, but not near you. We're gonna charge both these uh, Dire Avengers over the wall. So uh, I just do it, because I can't roll less than two. <laughs> yeah. To ready this cultist with his shotgun, Mr. Shotgun. And then I'm gonna run this gene stealer seven plus five so five down and another seven i just want to go stand under here and just mm -hmm. be ready for next turn the solder gun even though he has almost no prayer of actually hitting you and then we're going to advance him so four is nine it'll cost me four to go over and i can move five more at the advance and just head to this he's gonna run and he's gonna go eight so he'll just run over to here and hide behind this wall it's done for us, so it's just uh, these two, him, and these guys got charged, so they just make advances. So he's gonna ready. Does he want to advance? Who, which guy? Is he gonna move? Yeah, he's just gonna move, yeah. Okay. Get ready to do Grenade Town. Yeah, Pop Grenade Population, not Gene Stealer. Yeah. <laughs> and what about your leader? Oh. Leader, uh, and then does he want to fall back over here? Yeah, I think it'd actually be a really good idea for them to fall back. I, I do too, me. because then I can't shoot you, or I can't fight you. Like you can't actually, you can even spend a CP to fall back and shoot that gene stealer. Yeah, because he has matchless agility, right? There you go. And plus, you can also ability because he has a comms link. He can comm link himself. Can't he you? can hit on, on twos. Yeah. Yeah. Move six ones. I'll move behind the wall because you're just trying to keep your specialist alive at this point. Yeah. Just gonna move him back. Oh. And I'm just gonna get rid of these markers. Yep. So it looks like your movement done. Uh, I have priority though, so my ready model gets to fire first. And we're gonna do Captain Shotgun and the Shotgun Brigade and this Guardian. So hitting on fives because you're in cover. And I totally miss. And I'm not gonna bother rerolling that. Uh, so it's over to you. Pick a ready model to fire. All right. The, you can do um, your sniper or you could do this guy. He's already been shot at and I missed. Do my icon bearer. Yeah. Uh, so cover hit on fours. Hits. Wounds on a three. three. Oh, it's not a headshot though. What happens? No armor. So make your uh, roll four plus. No, I'm just flush wound. You want to do your CP reroll? You have one CP left. You want to try and do it? 
It is a specialist. Save it for your combat specialist in case he needs to try and get a, an injury roll on that gene stealer. Because this guy's in a little little less danger. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> you back on sixes with Mr. Autogun. Nope, doesn't even add up to six. That's all the ready models done, so we're gonna move on to normies. Uh, and let's start with Mr. Seismic Cannon. And he's gonna shoot into your Dire Avenger. Yep. So you're in the open, because you're standing on a ledge, but I'm in long range, so I'm hitting you on, it looks like five. Hit. Two. And then forced to wound with a Seismic Cannon. Two wounds, two four up saves. Oh, oh, what happens? Damage one, three. Oh, do I CP it? I do CP it, I do CP it. And on a four, dead. That head comes off, that's your leader. So that's another, CP, that's another um, victory point for me. So I got a four. You're gonna use your last CP to let him, oh sorry, you've already done that to make yeah. him feign flight. Retreat. So, so he's, he's gonna, gonna be able to shoot. So into my gene stealer on threes. Twos. Twos, because you're using your combo ability to get plus one hit, that's right. Well, it's a good thing you did. <laughs> you wanna try and hit me twice or save that for the reroll to wound? Perhaps, yeah, force Fours. to wound. Uh, nope, save so CP reroll. No, oh. when it gets worse. Let's do some autogun shots. Again, on sixes, only one die, because long range. Oh my god. Nope. One pistol has no targets. That's all my shooting for the round. And let's do some... Oh, sorry, he couldn't even have shot, actually. He ran this turn, never mind. Um, it was just these guys who both ran as well. I get to pick a charger to fight, uh, and we're gonna do Mr. The Gene Stealer. Uh, he's gonna do all three of his attacks into this fella. Uh, hitting through a wall, those hit on fours, but I reroll ones because my icon's nearby. That's handy. Nope. And a three to wound as I reach through the window. Oh, it snips. Four, so now. Snip! That just, just got, reaches his arm it. through and snips his head off. Got the head. Chargers, so it's over to uh, regular melees, and I, again, have the initiative, so we're going to do this guy. Right. He only hits on fives, though. Uh-oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, and it wounds on six. threes. Keeps that six. Nope. So two saves for minus one. Five. So five. So no. Nope. And... Pinched it. Oh. All right. Well, then we pile in this way. So that's big. It's done. So let's do some... Uh, some Try and blow some stuff up test. Do I blow up this objective on a five? I don't. Uh, and it's your end phase morale tests. So uh, no one has flush wounds which means you don't have to bother making any shaking tests, but you will have to make a morale test on the highest leadership in the group, which should be probably one of your Dire Avengers, but they're all gone, believe, so, yeah. so it's, it's your ranger. Be... Old school test, passes, they don't care, frosty uh, elves. Verena, you're only gonna get one CP at the start of this round, because your leader's gone. Yep, uh, and I will go to five. Oh, no, leader's still here. The Dire Avenger wasn't your leader, so you go back no. to two, that's right. That was uh, a combat specialist. That's right, he's a combat specialist. So let's see who goes first. Not me. You backwards? Yeah, gonna head back. Oh, jeez. And drag that with it. <laughs> <laughs> Running away, so he's, he's gonna, gonna go hide and cover. Hide and cover, yeah. Makes sense. The charge distance as long as possible. Sounds good. Back up slightly, just to just to hope that I don't yellow all my charges. Pretty good. Cool. Move back and hide behind the pillar. Yep. Kay. Try and hide behind that pillar and just yeah. And just be be away. Okay. Let's do this. I have to at least blow up one of these things. Let's send Johnny not injured. Yeah, let's do it. This guy's gonna go. He's gonna run, so he has to go uh, 12. So he's just gonna go hide over here, next to this. Uh, we're gonna advance uh, you, even though you're super injured. Yeah, he's gonna go 12 as well. And just stand in the middle of everybody. Be like, what's up, nerds? <laughs> Let's fight. Shotgun's gonna run, Dr. Shotgun. He goes nine this turn, uh, which won't be that nearly far enough, but he's gonna go just over this. Right here. Cosmic Cannon is just going to slide out to be able to see that Guardian moving slightly. Of course, he ignores the moving fire penalty for heavies. Uh, and then... Oh, there's still a Guardian in this window! What am I doing? <laughs> I totally oh, forgot about him. Oh, shoot, I forgot about him too! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we all forgot! <laughs> oops! <laughs> Big oops! We, we should have totally shot that guy. Well, there's no window for me to see him through. Let's just peek out over here and be like, hello! I imagine he's ready. Yeah, uh, I'm ready then, yeah. And then you need to go hunt specialists. Gonna try and yellow this charge. It's 10 probably at least. Pinch it, yep. That's not gonna do it. But I'm a gene stealer, so I reroll for swift and deadly. That's it. That's just worse. So I can I can move my seven as long as it gets me towards you, which means you're gonna get to take a shot at me this turn. And that's it. I kinda move. So I was just gonna move forward slightly. Advance. Uh, and then do you guys wanna do anything? Dr. Shotgun. He'll stay ready. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna have an argument how best to blow this up, I guess. <laughs> the Gene Stealer's gonna move. Reach guy? Yeah, he's gonna go 10, go over there. No, I only roll once. Ah, uh, okay. He's gonna run as well. 
Uh, I don't roll it. I got lots of CPs. I'm gonna roll it. Oh, he got slightly better. So he's only at a seven, <laughs> but he hops this for free. He's just gonna hop either side of these. Let's be in cover over here. I get to go first because I have a ready model. I'm gonna try and shoot this Ranger on sixes again. Nope. So I get to do regular models now. Do I just do you? Oh, is it regular models? Oh, didn't uh, I no, we did we did ready, and then we start again with regular models. Oh, well, I actually have them all ready. Well, yeah, you do your regular yeah. then. So who can he see though? Can't see that guy, but can he see this guy? Uh, he can definitely see the gene stealer. He can definitely see the seismic cannon and this auto gun over here. The specialist through the window, no, because that pillar's in the way. Perhaps he might go to the- You can see guy. the heavy specialist right there. Yeah, he'll probably go for the heavy specialist. Sitting Sounds good. Course, so you're over six though. Remember, you have, you're shooting over half range. You only shoot 12 normally, right? Ah. And on fives, because of long range. Oh, you're flesh wounded too. So sixes. So sixes, do it. Nope. nope. He's not ready, Marl, so he's going to shoot you back. And he's going to use his mining goggles to ignore cover. So it cost me one, and my mining goggles, my mineral analysis goggles, let me ignore your cover modifier. So I'm going to hit you on fours. The heavy penalty for moving and firing because I'm a heavy, and my mining goggles on fours I hit you. Oh, we've done it. Yeah. And then it's force to wound. Save me pajamas. Two final up saves. Make one. Failed one. All right, so but you are flesh wounded, so I'm plus one, minus one on a four plus. Nope, you just get flush wounded again. Over to you, you can do your uh, Guardian, Comm Specialist, if he wants to try and shoot that Genie Stealer. Yeah, he probably will. You gotta give yourself the plus one, obviously. Yep. So I'm in the open. Hit me on threes, twos. One hit, and then, do you spend it now or spend it later? I'd spend it now. Uh, yeah, sure. No, oh, it's still a one. Uh. And then, and then, then force to wound. He wounds as AP minutes. super, but I have uh, lightning reflexes for a five plus yep, doesn't matter. Nope, and then what happens? I'm in the open, four plus. Murders him. Blam! Take that, Gene Steeler. All right. Well, this guy shot, who right? wants to fire? He did fire. He's my ready model over there. Uh, I got my auto gun shooting into the window. Two shots on fives because of the cover. One hits uh, on a four eye wound. No wounds. I have not used my CP reroll yet this phase. Doing it. Make that reroll. Four plus. Kill him! Nope. Turn that to a four. It should be a three. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, like that. You should shoot your guardian here into my flesh wounded gene stealer. So on uh, threes, because you're not wounded. Two hits, and then threes to wound. Sorry, fours to wound. Strength four. One wound, one five up lightning reflex. Ha! I'm yeah. good. Uh, and then you've got Mr. Pistol over here. All right, hitting on threes. Hits. Fours to, to wound. Oh, he does it. Five plus. Duck. Yeah. Duck yeah. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a shuriken pistol. So you have to make a break test. End of the round. you have taking so many casualties. On a seven. Don't care. Uh, so you're still hitting at no mods. And then uh, end of turn, do I blow up any of these things? So this objective, I don't. And that one, I do. Yep. So I go up to six. You need to kill some specialists here. Or top of initiative. So you're going to go to three CPs. And I'm going to go to five. Let's see who's going first. So I'm going to go to four, because I only had two, because I used goggles and two rerolls last turn. Yeah, we should have mm -hmm. put me at that. So uh, you can go first. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought you rolled a five. Never mind. So um, you saw the five. But I saw the five. That's right. But it bounced. Uh, so I get to go first. OK, well, that's happening. Let's charge. Uh, I'm going to charge your hero guy. I'm going to charge his guardian with him. All Do right. it. Shoot me. Kill me. Nope. And I mean, shit. Where's your guardian or your sniper guy? Missile Missed. failed. Get him! Shotgun's gonna climb the roof. He does, going 10. Hello. Where's that guardian around the corner? At a line of fire? I only go seven. I, I think, think that's I actually still enough. like it. Yeah. yeah, cause you're only around the corner, just one plus the. Actually, yeah, one plus six. That's actually it. That's okay. all you needed. Like it with an inch, it's still, yeah. still there. I'll place him right here. Uh, we'll do. Uh, so I have my Dark Angels as well. Move him, he's gonna run. He goes five, he's gonna go 10 to the side of that wall. We're gonna ready and ready over here. And then we're gonna run, I think, with the rest and just try and head up the building. So running with him, he's gonna go 10, just lurk down here. The boss is gonna run and go 10, which will get him to here. So shooting phase, it's really just over here. <laughs> and I'll use my seismic can. I'll use my mining goggles again to ignore your cover. Mm -hmm. So I hit on fours. Come on, seismic cannon. Two hits. We on four, strength three. Fours, pajamas it. Again. No. no. Would you like to reroll it? Uh, he's not a specialist. He's so flesh wounded. Oh well, just kill him. On a two. He lives. <laughs> what? He lives. You're plus two, minus one, so you live. CP it. 
Die! Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> there you go. I was in melee, so no shooting for everybody else. Uh, and everybody charged, so I get to go first. Let's do some uh, Hold on, hold on, let's oh, see. Oh, you do the, the trump the fight? Try, try and do it? Alright, so you're gonna do the two CPs, try and fight first over here. I'm not gonna try and stop you. Go Any on threes? He does. Winning on fours. Fives? Ah, uh, fives. Yeah, yeah rolled off the table, so it didn't No, he rolled again, it's fine. Okay. Does it? Five plus? Nope, plus two. Dead. Now back to regular scheduled charging, because you've done your focused fight. I'm gonna stab you. They all hit, and they wound on threes. Oh! CB1! CB1! Yep, make your five save. Six up, actually. That's right, yeah. Got a four higher, and you kill the leader, so he's... Seven? Yeah, because you killed. Gonna pound him. And then, last fight over there. Gonna do my stabs, because I charged. Mm -hmm. On threes. And on threes. Uh, one is AP, AP amazing. Yeah, he's got uh, he's not, and I can't reroll it, so he's just flush wounded. Oh. Back uh, over there, because he's already fought this round. Uh, One three wound. hits, wounds, doesn't get through. Passed it. All right, so, so. end of round. Uh, I've now scored seven VPs. Yeah. Let's see if I blow up this last one on five plus. I need don't. don't. So, so you're going to be at three, because you killed one of my specialists, and you have one surviving thing. I'm going to be at seven. Your max right now is going to be basically three. Yeah, max. Because you can't get to any other specialists. Yeah, no way idea how you have and, no And so way. turn five is kind of moot at this point because you needed that last one. You need the center one to not get blown up. Yeah, essentially. But then you were probably just going to swarm it. So there it was, end of the game, seven to three for the Gene Stealer cults. I think having played this one now, the deployment in the first turn of the game for the defender is super mm -hmm. important. You yeah, need, it was. You need to ring those objectives so that one, I can't pile towards them and like get them in the turn. And I think if I'm not, if I'm not rolling to try and blow them up by the end of turn two, I'm not getting them all. <laughs> Cause all I have to do is live. You can all die as long as those three objectives are on the table and you kill a couple specialists, there's no way for the attacker to win. I think that's the key there is don't let, don't stand so close to them that charging you also ends me next to them within one inch at the end of it all. Mm -hmm. Cause that way you're, you're defending them. So you kind of ring them in troops to force my deployment back and then make me fight you one at a time. And you actually don't want to stand near them either. You want to move out from them during the turns, right? So that I'm forced to basically like fight fight through you to get to them and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a neat one though, because it fits the Gene Stealer cult. Like it actually, it's the way they would fight. They would never fight fair. They would never line up and be like, today we're gonna have a battle. They would just jump you in the street basically like a, like a prison yard fight all the time. <laughs> yeah, they kind of even look like prison guards even. Yeah, well they're, they're, the, they're the mining unit of Fortress Binary. That's what they used to be. Uh, before someone, someone came back from vacation somewhere with a little weird purple pet and it turned them all purple slowly but surely over generations. So anyway, big thing. Thanks to Brayden for bringing in Zeldar. Big thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you for more of this. Till then, I'm Ash. Yep, okay. See ya. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.